needless to say, we feel great. Uh, completely different feeling than it was seven days ago, I think it was last Sunday at the end of the Belmont game when we didn't play. But uh, today I thought we played exceptionally well. Uh, Russ Smith is a heck of a player. Chris Jones, those guys about killed us with, on the perimeter, but I loved what uh, Marcus did, what Bryce did. And college basketball is what Kennedy Meeks did. I mean, yesterday he was one of the worst players on the planet, and today he was unbelievable. And uh, I told him last night at Snack, I said, you just weren't ready to play. You didn't have the intensity. You've got to be into it tomorrow. This is big-time college basketball. And I thought, Kennedy, you look at that, 13 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists, only one turnover. Uh, that's, that's really big for us. Uh, scared to death a little bit with foul trouble, but I thought those guys hung in there when they had to take out Bryce and Marcus both. I just feel very, very good about our team. 180 degrees away from everybody in that locker room is what they felt like last week. We knew we had to play our best. We couldn't play anything less than the best uh, in order to win this game. But we didn't talk too much about winning. We talked about playing a heck of a lot better. And uh, I think we did play a heck of a lot better. Uh, Louisville's team is really something. Rick Pitino is one of our great coaches at any level, at any time. If he hadn't taken that hiatus to NBA for those years, there's no telling how many wins he'd have. But uh, you got to play the total game when you play them. You got to guard people. You got to handle the press. You got to score in a half court. You got to do everything. But uh, other than looking down and seeing Russ with 36 and Chris, Chris with 20, I feel great about what we did. Coach, you mentioned Kennedy, Nate Brennan, another freshman. What were the picks he and Marcus able to do in terms of taking care of the ball? Well, I was dumb enough at halftime. I said we only had seven turnovers, and I said I'd like less than that, but I could be satisfied with seven in the second half as well. And so I got what I wished for, and I didn't mean it, but we had 14. But we, we take away some silly turnovers. I thought Marcus and uh, Nate really did a good job. Nate's drives to the basket, uh, uh, he missed one there late that I thought he was going to make it, but his drives to the basket sometimes were really important for us as well. But uh, you can't say we were great defensively when the two guys we were trying to stop got 36 and 20. Uh, but I think going to the zone helped us a little bit. We just got to do a better job driving, guarding the driver. Roy, how, how bad did you guys need to, to play well in this kind of performance just for the team's cycle? Well, I think we needed to play well. The fact that you win, that makes it even better for the kids. I, uh, Coach Smith always said if you played well, he could accept it. I would have accepted it today, but I wasn't worried about result. I really wasn't. I wasn't thinking about win, win, win. I was thinking about we've got to play better. And I thought if we played better, we'd have a chance. And uh, Louisville yesterday didn't play as well as they wanted to play by any means. And we caught them probably on a good two-day period here. but. Uh, for us, I thought it was extremely important for us to play well. The fact that we won just adds something to it for the kids' perspective. Okay. Talk about what you decided to make and what the first time made, especially Kennedy. Kennedy playing that way when your decision to go with three big guys and bigger lineup. Well, we, we talked about it and did it even some yesterday, Kenny. We, we don't have enough wing players right now to play. And so we, we have to get James Michael to spend quite a bit of time at three. And it's, it was a little bit difficult for him trying to find some openings against that zone, particularly in the first half. He got a little more in the second half. But a uh, uh, pretty good lineup for us could be JP at the two uh, with Marcus at the one and, and James Michael at the three. But that puts an extremely heavy load of all the ball handling on Marcus's shoulders. So you can't do that for a 40-minute game. And, and Nate helped us. Uh, you know, it was no question about that. And it gave Marcus some freedom. and gave Marcus some uh, opportunities to catch his breath a little bit. But I think not just going big, the zone was important for us. And uh, we've, I said in the press conference the other day, we've already worked on the zone more this year than most years I ever coach. But I just think that right now with how our limited assets uh, for perimeter players, particularly wing players, we're going to have to go big and play in the zone is going to help us some. Roy, you mentioned the, uh, the, the Belmont loss last week, and obviously it's going to be the PJ's stuff and Wilson stuff. How much more satisfying is this just getting everything best than you well, there's no question it's satisfying to be able to have some good things to think about. I mean, since June 5th, it's not been a very pleasant time. It's been probably the most difficult time I've ever had as a coach. But maybe that shows what a blessed life I've lived, too. But uh, uh, it has not been fun in every way, shape, or form. But today out on that court, you know, watching those kids and seeing their excitement, bumping around with them there and going in the locker room and celebrating, that's what I coach for. 
had to have those feelings of being with a group of kids who really feel like they accomplished something. That's what I coach for.